hey friends this is alex welcome back to my channel today i have for you a fun bright spring mani featuring pampered pretties uh, they just came out with some amazing neon pastels and fun just bright glitters uh perfect for the upcoming hopeful weather change right <laughs> today i'm using sweet pea which was that beautiful purple and pampered paradise which is kind of a flaky foil, pink, purpley, pearlescent uh, glitter. It's lots of fun. Um, I will also be using my Pampered Pretties liquids and my Pampered Pretties pill base. Uh, Pampered Pretties pill base has been working out very well so far. Um, I just ordered it, so it's kind of new to me, and I like it a lot. It has a really fast dry time, and my manis have been popping off perfectly, so that is always a good thing. <laughs> Uh, so well, I'm going to go in and start with the glitter because, well, that's the fun part. <laughs> and I'm going to grab my base coat and apply a thin first layer and then dip into my glitter. Uh, I usually like to dip into my glitters for the most part. When they are more of like a chunky glitter, I will lay my finger flat. Uh, usually that first time, maybe the second time too, but this one... Uh, since it is more flaky foil kind of glitter, uh, really easy to apply. Um, you can tap it flat with your finger and then brush off the excess with the stiff nail brush and that works perfectly. Okay, we're all done with that uh, second dip of the glitter and honestly the coverage was so great I didn't feel like it needed more than that. And so now it's time for Sweet Pea. This adorable little purple. I love the name too. It was very, very fitting I feel like. Uh, so I'm going to start out again with base coat and thin layers and get to dipping. Uh, I ended up doing three dips of this powder just because the neon pastels can be just a little bit lighter I feel like and um, I wanted to make sure that color came through nice and vibrant so I did three dips total and I will go ahead and let you guys go so you can watch and I will be back with you shortly Okay, I am finished dipping uh, all of that beautiful purple pastel color. And now I'm going to do one more brush with my stiff uh, nail brush just in case there's any leftover excess powder hanging on. 
Then I'm gonna grab my Pamper Pretties activator and go ahead and get those uh, solid color nails going. Um, I like to start the activating. If I'm doing a solid on a glitter, I might as well just get that done and over with so they'll be all ready to go by the time I am done encapsulating um, whatever glitter I'm working with in my clear powder. And today I ended up using uh, Pampered Pretty's Clear uh, to do my encapsulating. Uh, a very good clear powder. It's one of my favorites to use. Um, it doesn't give me any cloudiness and it doesn't end up with little bubbles or any of the other things that can just be so disappointing <laughs> when you get done with a mani and you're looking at your glitter and you're like, what happened here? So a really good clear powder to use. If you're looking for one, I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm gonna do one dip over my glitter. Um, honestly, this glitter just laid so flat. I didn't feel like it was necessary to do another dip of clear. Um, so I'm gonna finish that up and make sure I brush that off very well with my stiff nail brush. Um, it's very important when you're encapsulating glitters that once the clear powder has set, you see how I'm like touching it right there and trying to see if it's okay, if it's ready for that brushing point. Uh, once that's done, you take that stiff nail brush and you get all of that powder off because that is what is going to give you cloudiness or other issues like that. Um, it's not only just the quality of the clear, it's this process right now. And unfortunately, that regular um, super soft dusting brush is just not enough. You need the stiff one to get everything off. So make sure you have one of those. Very, very important. Okay, now that the activating is all done, I'm gonna let that dry for two minutes and then it is time to file, yay! Uh, today I am going to be using my Pampered Pretty sponge file, the 100-180 grit, my purple buffing block, and a little bit of my tiny pink guy, and of course, my favorite, the McCart 100-180 grit nail file. Now, the McCart is the one I use first almost always. I uh, get to do all my like heavy lifting filing I guess that's all my main shaping is coming from this file though honestly um, this dip really didn't need a lot of filing on the top I do a little bit but um, mainly I was focusing on my side walls with this file and then uh, once I'm done getting that main shaping I will grab my pampered pretty sponge file and kind of go over and smoothing everything out same with the buffing block uh, it's funny you probably don't need to use all three of these I, uh, the buffing box, I mean, it's just out of habit. I kind of go over with each one and I feel the smoothness and see if it's the consistency that makes me happy. And uh, that's what I feel like a lot of my filing is. I go until uh, my shape makes me happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. I'll let you guys watch for a little while and then I will be back with you shortly. Okay, now that we're done with our filing, I can go ahead and rinse my hands, get all that filing dust off, and grab my glass cuticle pusher and just go around in that cuticle line area and get any kind of crud, whatever that's left in there, and clean that up really nicely. The glass cuticle pusher is perfect for this. 
uh, I get mine off Amazon. I'll make sure I have that link in my description and it uh, does a great job of cleaning up that area. You do need to be careful in the beginning when you first start using it because it is very sharp when it comes out of that packaging. Uh, so <laughs> definitely be, be careful, but uh, don't be afraid of it. It works great and definitely a must have in my opinion. And once that is all done, now we are ready for top coat. Um, now I decided to do something fun, a combination of matte and clear. I don't do it very often, but I decided, hey, this is this could be a neat neat way to end the mani. Uh, so I'm using my Sundara matte top coat, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer to all my pretty purple pastel nails. Now um, I kind of feel see me kind of take care in applying this, and you want to do that with matte top coat because if you put too much on, you can get these weird like I don't know gloopy spots. Or you can get streaky spots so i try to take care and make sure i'm applying it evenly and i'm doing a thin layer and then once that is done i grab my two-in-one uh, clear top coat that is from pampered pretties uh, this is a new product to me i just ordered it from them and i'm already really enjoying it a lot <laughs> it works great with you know top coating dips it works great with water slide decals i've just been really enjoying it really fun product to use okay now that i am just about done with the top coat I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds in my nail lamp. And then after the cure is done, I'm going to take an alcohol swab and wipe the matte nails. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that with the two-in-one, it's a no wipe, but I wipe the matte nails and make sure they're not sticky anymore. And there we have it, we're all done. I'm gonna grab my cuticle oil, of course, because it is very important to keep those cuticles moisturized. Um, I use Spicy Reeds from Scales of a Mermaid and it smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love their products. Uh, they really do a great job keeping uh, my cuticles moisturized and they smell amazing too. And here we are, final product. Uh, fun, quick, great spring mani. Thank you so much everyone for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything specific you'd like to see on my channel. Uh, let me know and I will do what I can to make it happen. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and until next time.